Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this Pokeball hat, all sizes from baby to adult. I have the link on the double crochet for all sizes for the video listed down below. Um, so all you need to do is just change the colors, but everything else is the same. So to do this hat, you would do the magic circle with the chain three that counts as a double crochet and then uh, 10 more double crochet for a total of 11 double crochet. Then you do a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and then a double crochet in the same, and then two in each stitch around for a total of 22 double crochet. And the video for that length is listed down below. And then you do a chain three and round three, two double crochet, one double crochet, two, one, two, for a repeat around and then you do a chain three one double crochet two double crochet one one two repeat around and then one chain three one double crochet one two one 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 and then two and repeat around and then the next two rounds are just chain three and then one in each around one double crochet in each stitch around chain three and then one in each stitch around then you're going to slip stitch in your black color I did a um, a slip stitched color change in this circle here which is the pokeball and um, the next step I'm going to show you how to do this whole circle here and so if you need help with a color change then stay tuned and you're just going to do a chain three once double crochet around chain three one double stitch around double crochet around then you're going to do a color change slip stitch with white chain three one double crochet around for one two three four five rounds this was done with an eye hook for the teen but you can make it for all sizes just by switching up your hook size. Um, I do have that on the pattern for this listed down below too. That's how you make the hat. So you just watch that video on how to make a double crochet hat and the only thing you're doing different is your slip stitch and a new color in. The rest is the same. And then I'm going to show you how to make the circle next. So that's all you need to do. If you have any questions, please ask. Hi, I'm going to show you how to do the Pokeball on the Pokeball hat. You're going to create a magic ring circle. In that magic ring, you're going to chain three. So wrap it around your fingers, take your hook and grab that yarn, yarn over, chain one, chain two, chain three. Now you have a chain three in the magic circle that counts as your first double crochet. Now you're going to work two, now you're going to work nine double crochet in the magic circle. Yarn over, place your hook in the circle, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, Yarn over, pull through two loops again. That's your first double crochet. Okay, eight more. Yarn over. Place your hook through the ring. Pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's 
One, two, three. So now we're on four. That was five, now six, yarn over. Grab the yarn through the ring. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, This is your last one. Nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need one more to make ten. Take your here and pull and slip stitch on top of that chain three. One, two, and then three. Okay, so for round two, you're going to chain three. Yarn over, chain one, two, three. Then you're going to work a double crochet in that same stitch. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, two double crochet. Now you're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. And then another double crochet, two double crochet in the next. Two double crochet in the next, two double crochet, and repeat that all the way till the end. Okay, so make sure you have 20 double crochet all the way around, and then you're going to do a color change with your black yarn. Wrap it around your hook, place it through this loop, and then take it to your chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch. So you're going to loop it through this double crochet and then grab your yarn, pull it through this chain three and then pull it through this loop here. So now you just color changed with your black yarn. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then you're going to work two double crochet and the next stitch. So this is your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet and then double crochet again in that same stitch. And then double crochet in the next. And then two double crochet in the next. And double crochet in the next. 
Repeat this all the way around. You're going to have one double crochet, two double crochet, one, two, one, two, one. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30 double crochet. Okay, so to finish, you'll have 30 double crochet, ending with two double crochet, slip stitch on top of that, chain three, and you can do a chain one and fasten off. Leave about a seven inch tail so you can weave in your ends. Now on the back of your hat here, I'm going to show you how to attach it. You're going to use your yarn needle, attach your yarn. We can use about 12 inches to about 20 inches of yarn, just depending. And you'll weave in these ends here. And this one you can weave in. I'll show you how to do that too. So you just take your yarn needle and you weave in these ends. I usually do it about three times. So that's about one. <clears throat> and this is the back, so you won't be able to see it. And then two, and then three. And then just take your scissors and cut. And then you can weave this in one, this uh, end in two. And if you have any other ends, you just weave them all in. Now you're going to place your circle right in the center. So it's going to be a third way into the red, the black, and the white. So right in the center. Then you're going to take your yarn and just sew in the black section so it's firmly attached. So you just bring up your yarn and you're just going to go back and forth as though you're sewing. So just weaving it in with your yarn needle back and forth on the outer edge there in the black so it stays in place. And just keep doing that all the way around. So you're going to do it all the way around and then in the back you'll have your back here. You can just weave in the ends just like you did. So when you're done you're just going to weave it in back and forth three times once you go all the way around. And this is how you make the Pokeball hat. All links for this hat pattern is listed down below. The double crochet hat is listed down below. I showed you how to do the color change so you can do the color change on these three if you are new to that. And if you have any questions, please ask and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.